What's up, y'all? Jay on the Segway. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you guys. I don't know. You guys wanna know how to put you? As I was saying before, my battery decided it wanted to deplete itself from its duties because I exhausted all the energy out of it. Um, do you guys wanna learn how to take footage off your GoPros, and put it on your on your tablet or cell phone? Well, stick around. I'll show you. First things first, guys. Make the video. You can play this out two different ways. You can take the GoPro, right? This is in a media mod, so if you're using a media mod, it's a Hero 9. Uh, this media mod in particular will fit a 9, 10, or 11. And there's a HDMI C, what is it, a USB C cable? You see it? You can plug that in there with the GoPro plug. Because GoPro does come with a cable, a USB cable, USB C to USB, and take the USB and plug it into your computer. Or you can use an SD card reader. My SD card reader in particular have different slots for different types of SD cards. And you can take the little SD card mini, the mini SD card, and put it in here. And then take the USB end of the USB of the Ugreen SD card reader and plug it into your computer or your laptop. That's one way to do it. If you guys are using a tablet, for example, I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet right here. This is what I use to edit my videos with. This runs off a of USB-C, as you can see here on the side. So what I had to do was, in order to connect this SD card reader, in order to connect the SD card reader to my tablet, I had to buy this little adapter here. This is a uh, this is a Philips USB-C to USB adapter. So the USB side of the SD card reader plugs into here and then I take this USB end plug it into the side of my tablet and then all the GoPro footage will show up on the, on the on the tablet on the screen but we're not going to talk about the tablet yet we're going to get onto this computer so let me show you guys what you guys need to do to get that all started all right so I was trying to figure this out because I was like well how the heck did I do it last time so you want to go to you want to type on the Google search bar GoPro quick and that's Q U I K. Don't put the C in it. Just GoPro quick with a K. And then this right here where it says communitygopro.com, you click on this link. And then it says quick for desktop is no longer under development. Visit this page to download the legacy software. You click on this page right here. And then it'll say, hey, Mac or Windows. So if you're using a Mac computer, of course, you click Mac. And obviously, the otherwise, it'll be Windows. So I clicked on Windows. And then right here to the bottom left, you see where it says GoPro Quick Win in something on the bottom left here? You click on that. Open. And you're basically just going to follow all the steps that ensues after clicking on that. Okay. We got the Quick Installer. We're gonna click next. You're gonna accept the terms right down here. Click that box, click next. And wherever you want the program to install, I'm just going to let it do the default. In fact, I'm going to do desktop up. Oh, it's already set for the desktop, so I'm gonna click install now. Do I want it to make changes? Yes, I do. And you just wait for it to go on ahead and do what it does. All right, automatically launch after closing the installer. Yes. I'm gonna close these out and wait for the quick app to ins And you see right here, let me, let me minimize it. You see right here to the left, there's your GoPro quick app. Now you go on ahead and put your email. Remember, if you sign up for GoPro, if you do the $50 a year subscription, you have full feature access to this app. If you just subscribe just to the app alone, which you can do it if you if you want, it's up to you. 
you would use the email that you've used to sign up for the account. So I'm going to go on ahead and put this in and I'll show you guys what happens after. Okay, so once I click sign in, this is going to send me a code to my phone number. So when you sign up for the GoPro app and everything, it will ask you for your phone number. Guys, use a phone number that's legit. Don't put a phone number for a friend. Put, the, put your phone number, your phone number, because it's going to send you a code that you have to put in after I click sign in. And unusually it didn't so that's good so these are all the videos that I have onto my cloud server if you subscribe to the $50 a year you get full cloud access um, all the videos you make if you put if you turn those settings on it will upload those videos on your cameras as soon as they hook up to the internet it'll log it onto the server and you have unlimited space for that which is I just think that's a really good deal now real quick guys you guys want to know something Okay, there's a correction here. When you sign on, when you log into the GoPro website on your computer, it will send you the verification code that you need to find on your phone. So I'm gonna click log in here and then it says enter my code. And so it'll text me. See, it just texts me a code 268544. 268544. You click verify and then it'll log you in. Now, GoPro subscription, I'm gonna click on account my subscription and if you guys are subscribed already check this out I didn't even notice this so it's got your billing method blah 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 offers you actually get extra perks just being a GoPro subscriber member so I don't know what the dirt pro is I don't I don't know what any of this is twisted road Gaia GPS I don't know what all that is right you keep scrolling down i use strava for some of my videos my electric scooter videos if i want to track my um track my course where you know or track my ride i use strava you get free for 60 days top features thought that was kind of cool and then you click the link to get the offer you got the music bed which i'm assuming is a music app for your videos you can use same thing i have epidemic sound i use this right now uh on trail up to 50 percent off get bf goodrich on trail i think that's another app for maybe bicycling or something like that you can track yourself booking.com this is the one that got my attention because i've been a booking.com user since i don't know maybe 2003 or four or something it's been a really really long time um you get booking.com discounts up to 20 percent on select properties and this offer is valid until the end of this year. But I thought that was cool. How do I get my video? How did I, that little video clip that I just told you, record the video, how do I get it on here? I okay, so I tried to do an individual files off the GoPro, it just wasn't working. So I had to go on and, and just cut it off right here <laughs> if you want to download the files using the computer you can but it seems like it will only take all the files that are on your gopro so if you guys have any old files that you do not want to download again onto your computer then the best thing to do is just delete them or put them somewhere else and then whatever files you leave on your sd card you go on ahead and upload it to your computer otherwise it's like i told you guys it's just going to take everything off so we're going to Go and skip to the um, part where you do it on the Android device, whether it be your cell phone or your tablet. Ready? Okay. This is very easy. First, we're gonna we're gonna tell you guys to order a couple of things because this won't really work otherwise. I tried to do it where I took the, the GoPro cable, I plugged it into the GoPro, and then took the USB N and plugged it into this little USB C to USB adapter. Right? I tried to do it like this directly out of the GoPro and then plug it into my tablet. Doesn't work. Now, when I say tablet, I mean cell phone, any Android device. If it uses USB-C to charge, whatever your charging port is, um, you wanna get that adapter for that. With that being said, guys, whatever you use to edit your videos, I repeat, whatever you use to edit your videos, make sure it has a lot of space available. 
My tablet is a 256 gigabyte tablet. I have an SD card slot, luckily, right? <clears throat> and I need that because what GoPro does is when you take the video off the camera and put it to the app, however many gigabytes that is, let's just say it's 20 gigabytes. If I recorded 20 gigabytes of footage, I have to take that footage and copy it from the app. I mean, from the yeah, from the SD card that came from the camera onto the app. So now that's 20 gigabytes of storage space gone. And then I have to go through all those video clips and I can delete some or keep some, but let's just say I keep all of it. I have to then save it from the app to the device. That's 40 gigabytes gone, just like that off the rip. And then here's what I do. Once I save whatever I'm going to keep onto the device, I delete it off the app. So you have 20 gigabytes on your device that's on the app, that's in the app. And then you have 20 gigabytes that you've saved from the app to the device. So you got 40 gigabytes of space gone, just like that. If you decide you want to go on ahead and start to edit that 20 gigabytes, that 20 gigabytes is going to go somewhere else. Whatever editing app you use, if you use the GoPro app, then fine. You're going to be working within that second 20 gigabytes that you've taken up from saving it from the app to your device. Once you finish editing it on the device, it saves that into another set of files. It may not be another 20 gigs, making it 60 gigabytes of total space being taken up. It may not be that because you may delete some footage. You may not keep every single thing. But if you do and you kept everything, that's 60 gigabytes gone before you upload it to YouTube. Keep that in mind. You need a lot of storage space. And if you have one project on your device that you're using to edit your videos and you decide to start importing more videos or more footage from maybe another clip or a set of uh, video clips that you recorded, your space is going to go like this. I promise you, I have 256 gigabytes of storage space and I, I'm always having to delete a video that I've edited to make space for more because you have other apps on your tablet. You know, these video editing apps, I use KineMaster, they take up a lot of space, 15, 20 gigabytes of space just for that program alone. I mean, so you have to always keep that in mind. I use this tablet exclusively to edit my videos. I don't use it for anything else because if I did, 256 gigabytes just ain't gonna cut it. Now I have an external hard drive that I save my videos onto, but yeah, you definitely want to keep that in mind. So this stuff can get quite pricey. I mean, you'll buy a GoPro for $500 and then you'll buy a memory card. I mean, a, a hard drive for a hundred dollars, depending on which one you got to have a Western digital one terabyte. It was like $84 at Best Buy. And then you'll spend this tablet whole setup with the, with the keyboard and the case was a little over a thousand dollars guys when i bought it brand new it's not that much now it's probably much cheaper now maybe about five six hundred dollars complete the way i have mine set up um but it's expensive this this stuff can get very very pricey if you use your cell phone to do this i promise you guys 128 gigabytes you can get by but if you use your cell phone to take pictures and videos, just normal day to day stuff, you're going to always have to constantly replenish your, your, your data space, deleting stuff, deleting stuff, saving stuff to hard drives or whatever, just to keep up with this GoPro app. OK, or this whole GoPro and any kind of action camera. It's not just GoPro. I mean, I'm running a 4K setup right now. It's going to take up a whole lot of space. So I try to edit this video down to take away as much useless information as possible um, to come up with the smallest size video end result. Basically, you know, the product to make it as small as possible, but efficient. Anyways, um, OK, let's convert over to the tablet and I'm going to show you how this is done. Okay, to do this on your cell phone wirelessly without using any of the cables or attachments or anything, you wanna take your GoPro, you wanna turn it on real quick. This is a safety thing, just turn it on. Once it comes on, turn it off, hold down the power button. It fires off. And now you wanna go to the quick app that you're gonna download on your phone. Once you have it downloaded and you're signed in and all that good stuff, you go on ahead and get into it. And then you're gonna press GoPro all the way on the bottom right. Now make sure your Wi-Fi is on. My Wi-Fi is on. 
Make sure you're not connected to any internet sources with your Wi-Fi because your GoPro needs the Wi-Fi to talk to your phone. I have my Hero 11 here selected on the screen and I'm gonna click view media. And the phone fires on, I mean the camera fires up and now your phone is connecting with it. You also do updates for your camera using the same exact method, turning your Wi-Fi on, making sure you turn your phone on real, I mean your camera on real quick and then turn it off real quick. And so here you just select the video. And this is what I like about using the app versus going on a computer trying to do it. Um, I'm just gonna press one video. And once I select this video right here, I press that arrow on the top right and everything goes pretty much the same way it does if you had the cable connected to the tablet like I showed you guys. Now I'm going to delete this file because I don't need it, but if you wanna share it, you see the share button. You can upload it straight up to, um, to any of your friends, your social media platforms, YouTube right here. I clicked on YouTube and then boom, it's just that fast, that easy guys. And this is one thing about the GoPro interface that I really like, the quick and efficient everything of doing these videos. Now, if your video is very long, I promise you it's gonna take forever for this thing to transfer over wirelessly. Now, if you wanna use GoPro's app to edit your videos, that's a whole nother video. If you want me to make that video, y'all can say it in the comments below and I can um, show you how to do editing and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, it's just that easy, guys, that easy. I know this video is long and monotone. I tried to be as efficient as possible, but informational as possible. Uh, hopefully this brought you value. Um, if it has, hit the like button. You know, it ain't gonna hurt you. Uh, subscribe if you like to see. I, I got random videos. I don't just do this stuff, okay? I do all kinds of stuff. I usually like to take with you guys DM me with because I get a lot of DMs. I don't know why you guys don't just write it in the description, um, but you can do either or. I don't really care. Um, I just want to help you guys. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, I can always make a quick video for you on Snapchat. It's Jay on a Segway at everything. Snapchat, Instagram, doesn't matter. And um, I could send you guys quick video clips on how to do something if something's not clear in this video. But I hope this video made everything clear for you. I always have to say, guys, as I wait for my action three, I don't know why it's still not here yet, but uh, maybe it'll come tomorrow or Sunday. Who knows? Anyways, um, I'm going to play around with that camera as well when it does come in, just so you guys know. And then I'll do my little comparisons between GoPro and, and uh, the DJI action three. Everybody's done videos on them already. I tinker with things just a little bit differently. So um, I haven't seen anyone do some of the type of videos that I do. Anyways, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching like a ton. You know what I mean? Like a ton, a ton, especially my loyal diehards. I got 600 and something subscribers. I'm getting, trying to get to a thousand so I can get monetized and start to open up and do more things. But like I said, I do videos on a bunch of different things. It's not just what you're seeing right here in this video. So if you guys like to watch random stuff, you can do it. It might be a vlog one day. It might be an electric scooter video another day. It might be a new uh, product that came out on the market. You never know what's gonna happen on this channel. Um, and I like to add little random snippets from time to time. So anyways, uh, Jay on the Segway, thanks for watching guys. And uh, let me get to editing these videos now and I'll put them out and I'll see you on the next video. All right, peace.